Hi, YouTubies! It's me, Zachary Mike. How y'all doing? How's it going? I hope you're doing well. Um, here's the deal, besties. First of all, we've had a wild day on the Twitch thus far. Uh, Mike the Hubs made an appearance in the chat, and we confirmed. I texted Lisa. I said, is that the Hubs in my chat right now? And, um, and, and she was like, yeah. It is. <laughs> it is, in fact, the hubs. So the hubs was in here, ref referred to himself as Coke Can Mike, and then, and then, apparently, I didn't see this happen because I was distracted, but then apparently also told the chat that in high school, his nickname was Meaty Mike. So do with, long, do long, with that long, what you will. Long, wait, wait. 19 months. The Zach 11 Jammies, dear YouTube, you can still watch Twitch even if your time zone doesn't match because the whole stream is up to watch afterwards. It's love from Australia, it's where it's now 8:30 a.m. It's true. I mean, obviously, please enjoy here on the YouTubies, but you can also, if you miss out on the first part of the stream where I'm not reacting to stuff, you're always welcome to go watch on Twitch as well. So that's the first thing: is old meaty Mike made his way into the chat, then. Michael B. Petty of Amberlynn Reed YouTube fame <laughs> made an appearance in the chat. Then, I talked for a long time. Then somebody said, Zach, what happens if we get to 400 subs? Like, why does it say that you'll do a 12-hour live stream? And I'm like, I don't remember making that promise. But there is a thing on Twitch that says if we get to 400 subs... We'll do a 12-hour live stream. So then the chat flooded me with Twitch subscriptions, which I'm like so, 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 so grateful for. That's so very, very, very kind. I actually, when I set the goal of 400 subs, never anticipated it. And now here we are. <laughs> and I have 400 subs. So um, as a result, I will be uh, planning. It's not going to happen this week, but be on the lookout for some news and announcements of me doing a 12-hour live stream, which obviously would love to have all the YouTubies come and join us for that as well. Um, but for the time being, we have some reactions to get to. Now, I, I had said, oh, hey, Meaty Mike, the hubs, I'm not going to react to um, to the old the old Lisa Halls today because her video is kind of a little bit longer today. It'll take me a little bit longer to get through. So I'm, I'm just like not going to do that today. Uh, instead, we're going to watch Sharif from Not Sure What's Cooking. Okay? <laughs> because her videos are shorter. But then here we are. It's 5.30 and I haven't even started the reaction. And the, also the other thing about this is that I have Fortnite League tonight. Okay? <laughs> Oh, you forgot to mention how Lisa saved your contact in her phone. She asked if she could save me as bestie, which I did, which I did uh, say she, she's, I mean, I, she didn't even have to ask me that. I, it's like her, her phone. So she could save me as whatever she wants. She could save me as dumb fuck McGee for all I know. And I, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. If she, if she wanted to save me as that, but she did ask if she could save me as bestie. And I said, go ahead and save me as bestie, Lisa absolutely why not go for it have at it have a ball um and so i guess that's what i'm saved as in lisa's phone now <laughs> what is going on how did i get here all right so <laughs> what we are gonna do what we are gonna do today is react to um my girl not sure what's cooking aka sheree um, she did, I am fascinated because she does have this video about her husband's mountain man carving, which kind of looks like it could be a gnome in the middle of this tree. Like, doesn't that kind of look like a gnome? <laughs> Does it, isn't that kind of giving gnome vibes? But anyways, <laughs> she's so close to a thousand subscribers. She's 200 away. Uh, but anyways, what I really wanted to do is. So we've reacted to these two recipes, but then she's got Cajun style enchiladas and yummy, yummy, cheesy crawfish zucchini. So I think we can watch both of those today. Don't you think? Don't you think we can do that? <laughs> McGee is my mom's nickname. 
from me and I can assure you that I absolutely am a dumb fuck. I'm glad you you are living in your truth 24/7 and you're ready to acknowledge that you're a dumb fuck. That is that is such a a good level of self-awareness. Um, so let's go look at Cajun style enchiladas first. Um, dear chat, if you're ready to watch some not sure what's cooking today, uh, please put some 69s in the chat. Would love and appreciate. Would love and appreciate. And and while while I wait, I'm gonna take a quick texting break. <laughs> I'm such a goofy girl. I'm such a goofy gal. Oh, do you want to say hi, Poe? <laughs> Come say hi. Come say hi. Oh, my little, mm, my little sweet potato, potato tot. My little tater tot. Oh. Stop trying, stop trying to, stop trying to lick me. Stop, stop. stop. Stop trying to lick me. <laughs> you're so cute, buddy. You're so you're the cutest little boy. Okay, that's enough. That's enough screen time for you. <laughs> let's get to Queen. Okay, let's get to. Let's get to. I can put this these headphones in correctly. Let me put these these headphones. Maybe for the twelve hour stream, we can do one hour. Of just just it focusing on whatever Poe and or Judy is doing. I feel like people actually would enjoy that. <laughs> I feel like they would. All right, let's let's get to let's see what old Cherie is cooking. Let me make sure the volume is where it needs to be, and let's go, let's go. Hey y'all, Cherie here. Would not share what's cooking today. I am. Subscribe and like if y'all want to see <laughs> more recipes. I love my, my, my Aunt Cherie. She, she is so, she's so goofy. I love when she uses the letter C instead of S-E-E. -E. I'm going to be making a Cajun sausage enchilada dish. Enchilada. A little bit of a twist on enchiladas. But anyway, Anch enchiladas. I love how she says that. What you're going to need to do to start off with, get you one box of the long grain wild rice and go ahead and prepare it as directed. Okay. All right. And then get you a package of this smoked sausage. Make sure it's this one. Okay. And then just cut it up. It has to be that one. No other smoked sausages will do. Y'all getting excited for your hot dog tacos? <laughs> and little pieces like that. You know, little bite-sized pieces. I, I live in Louisiana and this video has already made me angry. Please tell me more. She, I think she said, I don't think she's actually from Louisiana, but I think her family might be. I can't really remember specifically. I truly can't. Um... What kind of enchiladas are these? They love, love, love. Oh, these are these meat, are meat. Um, meat, Cajun meat, style. meat, meaty, meat, meat. <laughs> Hot Cheeto girly, thanks for those bits. She lives in the Ozarks, but I think she said one time that her family was from Louisiana, and that's why she's always claiming to make Cajun, Cajun meals, Cajun dishes. All right, next, get you six green onions. And to be fair, I don't know at this point, outside of the sausage, what makes love, these love, love my Cajun. Cream on wheat, wheat. At least she's specifying instead of just saying, whatever seasonings you want, rolling well, on the floor laughing. L Livia Source, what do you mean? She she hasn't mentioned any seasonings yet. <laughs> she, has, I guess you're saying because she was specific about the type of sausage to use, but... She hasn't mentioned any seasonings. I think she's just gonna, um, she's probably just gonna put some green onion and parsley in it and call it a day. 
They can't be. No self-respecting Louisiana resident would use Zatarans. Oh, that's the problem. That's the issue. Zatarans. And, you know, cut the ends off, of course, and then chop them up like this. Okay. All right. After you chop up all those onions, put all of them in with the um, sausage in the skillet, except two of them. Just... I feel like <laughs> you mean scallions? These are these are green onions. What are you talking about? Um, what was I gonna say though? Oh, well, what I was gonna say is I don't think she understands how to cook with green onions. That's that's my thing. I don't think she understands that. I also am am curious about her just putting all of this stuff into a cold pan, and I say that it's a cold pan. Because it's literally currently sitting on a, a towel. <laughs> on a towel. Set those aside. Now you're going to get a bell pepper, any color you want. It don't really matter. Why did she cut it like that? <laughs> this feels like a little bit nitpicky, but that's a fascinating way to cut a, a bell pepper. <laughs> Just like the little side. Um, and then cut it up in strips like this. Now the seeds, a little tip here, the seeds, take those and put them in a little bowl and let them dry for about one to two days. And then you can take those seeds and put them in a little baggie and put them in the freezer. That way next year you can use them if you want to, um, you know, plant some bell peppers or whatever. Nowadays, we need to save everything we can with the cost of everything. Uh, nowadays, nowadays you gotta plant your own produce because you just you just gotta. <laughs> I think green onion and scallions are the same. I do think people use them interchangeably. I was just questioning the person that was like questioning her use of the word of green onion. Because I think what she was chopping was a green onion. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, listen, I do think she does grow her own stuff because isn't she the girly that was like, I have too much zucchini? <laughs> wasn't that him? But anyway, cut those in strips. All right, y'all. The way all of those things are going to cook at wildly different times, like, she should have cut the the bell peppers up a little bit, but maybe it'll be fine. What do I know? What, I, listen, I've never made Cajun-style enchiladas before, so I'm, I need to just shut up and let her teach me. Just throw them in there like that. Now, this is optional. The next step... You know, this is all sitting on a towel. Like she did just throw all of this though into a cold pan in case you're in case you want to be clear on how to make this. Don't don't warm your pan up on medium heat, nothing like that. Just toss it all into a cold pan and set it on a towel. Don't have to do it, but my husband loves mushrooms. So oh. I am going to take some mushrooms okay. and cut them up, like cut them in slices, not chopped. And then we're going to add that to this. All right, now take that wild rice that you cooked after it's done. Wait, we haven't we, we haven't yet cooked any of the meat or the, the onions or the, the bell pepper. Why are we adding in the cooked, the cooked rice? <laughs> wait, wait, why are we... Why are we adding in the cooked rice to the pan? Did she skip a step? I don't think so. None of the stuff underneath the rice looks cooked right now. And just throw it in here. Now we're going to turn this on like kind of a medium heat. And we're just going to stir it up. <laughs> You're not going to have to add nothing to it. You ain't going to add nothing. No, we're not adding any kind of seasoning. No, no seasoning whatsoever. No, also no oil, no, nothing. All right, you guys, after you fry it. She had to put that big ass emoji on there to try to cover up some of this because this looks like mush. <laughs> this looks like mush. <laughs> and, and also, yeah, it looks nothing like an enchilada right now at all. <laughs> looks nothing like an enchilada. All like this, it takes about, I don't know, three or four minutes. Get you a pan. And get you some of the 
El Paso red enchilada sauce. I just got the mild. I like El Paso, the enchilada sauce, but you can use whatever you want. So we're still, even though we're doing Cajun flavors, she said, I'm still going to use traditional enchilada sauce. She said, you know those those alleged Cajun flavors? Go ahead and still use, like, Mexican enchilada sauce. It'll be fine. And then just put half of a can in this. Although, to be, to be fair, I don't know that these this enchilada sauce, like, the enchilada sauce at this point is going to be doing the heavy lifting in terms of... Um, flavor i think outside of maybe the sausage because everything else was just plain plain veggie and or that rice now you're going to take your tortillas and start rolling, rolling all rolling, this yumminess rolling. up in them all right that is a wild right <laughs> wait 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 all Let's this yumminess up in them that is, I'm so glad she clarified, because that does be looking like a little critter, <laughs> a little bug, a little bug, but that is a wild rice that escaped. <laughs> it does look like it could be a little, a little bug. No meat, no beans. There's sausage in it. What do you mean no meat? What do you mean no meat? <laughs> That's a mouse poop. It, do, it does look like it could be a little mouse turd. You are so right. Mm. It it looks suspicious. Poe, what are you doing? What are you doing? <clears throat> all right, after you get all of the... I don't know why I keep clearing my throat when I could just take a, a drink of water. I'm so sorry. That's probably so annoying. But the, that goody stuff all rolled into those flour tortillas. Just set them down in the sauce and make sure the seam is down okay all right Good now you're going to turn your oven on 350. are we not covering them with enchilada sauce too see that's also my confusion here because i feel like for enchiladas the sauce usually is poured over the top of it all and you're going to cover this with um some foil or whatever you you know have to cover and you're going to probably cook these, I don't know, probably for about 20 to 30 minutes. Are the bell peppers the only unprocessed ingredient here? No, she had green onions in it and also um, mushrooms as well. She had mushrooms as well. <laughs> so I imagine she's saving, maybe she's not, like maybe she wants it to crisp up or something. And she'll add, like, enchilada sauce on top of it after. Because I also imagine she has to add cheese. I'm so surprised we haven't seen cheese yet. Ooh, sorry. Uh, I feel like I feel like there's got to be cheese in here somewhere. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> when I'm like, I don't know what my issue is. Oh, there right, you go. If you get them all stuffed, put them in that sauce. Watch until the end to see the end results. I never trust that with Cherie. She's always at the end adding some kind of <laughs> rancid ingredient, some kind of janky ass ingredient. And then the rest of the uh, red sauce, just pour it all over it. And then you're gonna take it and cover it and bake it on 350 for about 20, 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven. 20 to 30 minutes kind of feels like a long time considering that all of the insides of the, the tortillas are allegedly already cooked. You know, <laughs> this is not right for me and my family. So true. And, and actually, thanks for bringing up the rice. By the time this comes out of the oven, this will be the the third cooking of the rice. Because she cooked it, then she added it into the uncooked like sausage, pepper, mushroom mix. And now she's going to bake the rice in the oven. 
Okay, but is she dead though? No, sure. Yeah, she's she is not dead. She will still be. She's still living, or at the very least, posted another video or two after this one. All right. After you baked it, I baked mine for thirty minutes. Wait, that's that's it baked. That doesn't look any different than what we just saw. All right, twenty to thirty minutes, depending on your oven. All right, after you bake this. You're it, telling me you baked this for 20 to 30 minutes and it came out looking exactly the same as it did going in? <laughs> Girl, what? <laughs> that rice is going to be dry and hard. I'm a pass on this bestie. My Hispanic heritage's heritage is disgusted. Absolutely disgusting. I bake mine for 30 minutes. It, Take it, it out. It looks the same as it already like did. This. Then you're going to get some mozzarella cheese. You can use whatever, but I'm just using mozzarella cheese. You're, you're picking the Italian cheese to put on your Cajun Mexican fusion. All right, bestie. Let, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. That that obviously makes the most sense here. I love, I also do love, I mean, like, in a lot of cases, you probably can just use whatever. Like, as a cheese lover, I'm going to love it regardless. But it is interesting how so many of the people I watch make food always say, you can use whatever cheese you like, as though there aren't, like, distinct flavor profiles for each of these cheeses, you know? Like... <laughs> Like, mozzarella is actually a very different cheese from cheddar and does give you a different experience. All right, your next step is to spread as much cheese as you want. I mean, just as much as you want. And then um, there's no certain amount. And then spread the rest of those green onions on top. Uh -huh. And put back. Is somebody taking a shower in the background? Can you all hear that? Does it not sound like somebody is showering? Onions on top and put back in the oven. It sounds like somebody's taking a fucking shower. <laughs> Maybe they should wait until they get done eating this. They might like shit themselves and need to, <laughs> need to shower again. Uncovered this time until the cheese is all melted. All right, now take oh, it out. Wow. Okay. Oh, that, that cheese looks so, like, hard and plasticky. The oven. All right, sir. Now, now why we got bacon bits? <laughs> now why? I was, listen, at this point, I expect parsley from her. That's not surprising. Why is there a bag of bacon bits right there? Why, why do we need bacon bits? Put it up on a plate. And then spring. She she put the emoji because she knows this shit is outrageous. Pull some parsley and bacon bits, and look at those I'm, Cajun enchiladas. And I, I just love, took a love, bite love of my it, cream all week. and it is cabinet delicious. clean out enchiladas. You think this is her cleaning out her cabinet? I don't think so. I think she bought all of these ingredients intentionally. For this meal and recipe. Delicious. Look at the inside of it. I mean, I'd probably, listen, like a lot of things. Oh, wait, no, I probably wouldn't eat these because they have mushrooms in them. I'm not a picky eater and I'll try everything once. <laughs> so I would probably try it, but also I do did just remember it has mushrooms. I really hate mushrooms. Yummy. Hope you enjoyed this video. And just remember, if you believe it, you, you can, can make can this. Make it. And until next yeah. time, be blessed and safe, y'all. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Here she is responding to comments. Oh, we love anything Cajun. We love enchiladas, too. This is great. These people are such liars. Oh, this is... Let's read this. This is... Wow! 
Awesome job. Your recipes are always innovative, unique, and awesome. Very interesting to watch the entire process. Directions are simple and easy to follow. Perfect techniques are used to ex execute the process superbly. Incredible job done. Thanks, Chef, for the marvelous job. Stay blessed and keep sharing your magically flavorful recipes. From from user homemade food ninety nine. These this is AI generated, AI generated over here. <laughs> AI generated. Trying to meet a word count. I love Cajun food and I love enchiladas. Well, good, uh, but never thought to put them together. Bad news, Annie smoking pot. A Annie's Annie is smoking pot. Well, I guess if you're smoking pot, Annie, this might sound good to you. Uh, but. <laughs> But if, if you really love Cajun food and enchiladas, I think you're going to be disappointing because this is barely either of those two food food categories. <clears throat> Looks real good and full watch. What does that mean? I love enchiladas. May have to try this. I'm making chicken chimichangas for lunch today. Okay. All right. Who's who's old Justina's Country Kitchen? What's she up to? What's she making? Shipwreck casserole. A mariner's mishap. Okay, work. German red velvet irresistible crimson delight. How to make frog eye salad. What? Frog eyes. I think I'm good. We, I think I'm good. We do have one more Cherie video um, to check out. So let's go back and watch that one too. Um, just, just for good measure. <laughs> just for good measure. I am curious about the old frog frog eye salad. I, I really am. But we, we might have to check that out on another day. Somebody remind me. <laughs> Somebody remind me about the old frog eye salad. We do um, specifically need to watch the yummy cheesy crawfish zucchini. <laughs> okay. Because I just know from this, look at this thumbnail. Does that not look fucking abhorrent? Uh, frog eye salad for the 12 hour stream. Write it down. I'll write it down right now. Frog. But we might do it sooner too, you know? Frog eye salad. I'll totally know what that means too later when I'm looking over this, this notepad. Got a hair on me. One of, some, one of my hairs. Okay. Let's watch yummy cheesy crawfish zucchini. It kind of the the name of the, like the way that rolls off the tongue kind of reminds me of it was an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot zucchini. <laughs> it was an itsy bitsy yummy cheesy crawfish zucchini. <laughs> Frog eye salad doesn't actually have eyes in it. Just an FYI. Well, then I don't want it. <laughs> oh, it oh it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't have. It doesn't have frog eyes in it. I'm not here for it. <laughs> I'm not here for it. Also, I think y'all can't hear any music that Noel's listening to, right? Because I can hear Noel listening to music, but I don't know if y'all can. I feel like somebody would have said something if you could. Um, Y'all good? Y'all good? We good? No, nobody can. Okay. All right. Okay, well, let's get into this, this crawfish zucchini disaster and or delight. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Hi, y'all. Sheree here with Hi. Not Sure What's Cooking. Wait, why does that zucchini look like that? Why does that zucchini have two butts? Today, 
I am going to be making a zucchini and crawfish dish. All right, so what you're gonna need is some zucchini. Our neighbors gave us this, so I'm cutting it up here. <laughs> I just, I just love, I just love how she says zucchini. <laughs> I just, I'm just so curious about how that came to be in her lexicon, because like, I don't know of anybody that says that. She's the only person I've ever heard pronounce it, zucchini. And what you're gonna do is just cut it up in little slices like that. Okay. And get you a little bit of bacon grease. If you don't have bacon grease, uh, just put a little bit of butter in there because okay. what we're gonna do is saute them and cook them in this. All right, and then just throw them in that skillet. Get them on in there. there. And cook it. Um, like on a medium heat. Are these gonna, are these gonna, this feels like a really overcrowded pan. Are these all gonna cook evenly? You're gonna have to kind of watch it. You don't have to stir it constantly, but just kind of watch it. And then after it's cooked down just a little bit, you can take some brown sugar bourbon seasoning. Okay. And you're gonna put about a tablespoon of it all on here. Oh, okay. Stir it around. So, Stir it around. And then you're going to take a half of an onion and cut it into chunks like this. She is such a cutting queen. <laughs> Look at how all of these pieces of onion are different shapes and different sizes. I love that for her. I love that for her. Then you're going to throw it in here. And then you're going to put the lid, put a lid on it and turn the burner down to between medium and low. Okay. All right, and you're gonna let that simmer between okay. that medium and low heat. Um, probably I don't, about- yeah, I don't, I feel like she might not, I'm gonna guess she's not gonna put the crawfish in here. I, what I'm anticipating is that at some point this is gonna turn into like a casserole. She's going to bring out a casserole dish. She's going to dump it all into the dish. She's going to layer it with cheese, and she's going to bake it. That's my prediction, just based on having watched her cook stuff before. She loves to do that. About three to four minutes covered. Okay, after also, that three or four minutes. Take I don't know if three or four minutes is long enough for anything to matter, but like, it doesn't look like the onions or zucchini have cooked any more than they did in the previous clip. The lid off, and then you're going to put one tablespoon, one to two tablespoons, either way, of water. Like, the, the onion is definitely still raw. Like, the onion has no browning on it. It's not translucent. It's still very opaque. Like, the onion is not cooked, for sure, for sure. Just depends on how much butter you want. But make sure that it's real butter. All right, so just put it in the middle. Okay, it says just throw that crawfish in there. On top of that. Uh, it, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she is going to add the crawfish to this pan. Now you're going to take about a cup and a half of crawfish tails, and you're gonna throw that in there. Bessie, okay, this now is, th Bessie, you're doing too much, and this looks disgusting. <laughs> this looks gross. <laughs> I'm so sorry to people who love crawfish um, and or seafood, but this image right here is disgusting looking to, to me. <laughs> This does not look appetizing at all. This is whenever you put the lid back on and turn it on low. It looks like she's making sauteed veggies, not a crawfish bake, and this looks grimy. Well, I think I, I will say, maybe I was wrong about the bake. Maybe, maybe as her, I still think there's a chance she might still put it in a casserole dish and bake it. She loves to cook things like two, three, four times before it actually makes it to a plate to eat. Um, your burner and just let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Check it occasionally. Okay, right. fi finally the, the zucchini's looking cooked. Okay, now that you've got it cooked down love, a little love, bit. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. 
Lisa Land, thanks so much for 22 months of subscribing. I appreciate that, bestie. Um, put some salt and pepper in it to your taste. Then add some parsley. Of course. And that's also to your taste. Also, why is everything so... I guess it's probably wet because of, like, the moisture from the zucchini. But it's so wet. And I also don't even see the crawfish anymore. And then cover it up again and let it cook on that low tip for about another five minutes. Also, I'm very close to 800 subscribers. She is at 800 now. And I am going now. to be giving a giveaway out. Well, a gift or whatever you want to call that. <laughs> but anyway, um, so whenever you do see this video, please like the video. Okay. And... Um, all right, what does this all say? Like and subscribe if you're not already. Comment, I got it. Then email me this word whisper when i reach 800 then i will take each person's channel name and throw it in a bowl and draw from it on my channel must be 18 or older to quantify <laughs> to quantify good luck now why do i have to email her the word whisper what <laughs> Emailing her the word whisper. <laughs> you might not quantify if um if you're not 18 or older, you won't quantify. If there's somebody not 18 years old that's watching this woman's channel, I have a lot of questions. <laughs> the first one being why. Why are you as a youth watching this woman? <laughs> <laughs> but here we are. Just comment that I got it and then email me um, the secret word this that I'm fixing blah, to give blah, you. Blah, 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 my cream all wheat, wheat. Pardon? Pardon? Uh, thanks for the bits, Liv. And it is called whisper. So the secret word is whisper. <laughs> So just make sure that you like, this is and if so you haven't silly. already subscribed, then please subscribe to my channel. Um, but don't, please don't put the secret word in the comments. Just put "I got it," and then email me the secret word. Take the lid off and then turn the. What? <laughs> why is why why is that a fucking um what what's that called? I don't know. Why is it so hard? It's a scavenger hunt. Yes, there you go. Why is it a scavenger hunt? <laughs> Your AI comments aren't going to know what to do. We should we should go look and see what the AI comments muster up. Are up to medium and let all that... So I can email her the word but not subscribe. Uh, you, <laughs> honestly, I think that's probably true. That's probably true. What's her email? Well, I mean, first of all, you can just go look on the actual. Well, you can't just go look on the actual video because she has 1,200 hashtags, but no email to contact her with. It's probably on her channel, right? Now, if she, I swear to God, if we go here to her about page and there's not an email. <laughs> Also, I hate that the command in the chat for her is pubes. That feels uncomfy. But it comes from the, the garlic pubes. Because this is a garlic and these are the, the pubes. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, here. Wait. Oh, it's not sure what's cooking at gmail.com. Com with a, a capital C. <laughs> Com with a capital C. Oh, she's not from Louisiana at all. I'm a native Texan, but left Texas in 2019 to move to the beautiful Ozark Mountains. Uh, I've been cooking since I was five. I would get a chair and stand on it and cook. LOL, kind of dangerous nowadays. My dad taught me how to cook Cajun food and other food. I enjoy cooking and baking. It's my passion. Y'all determine what's good for you to cook for your family. 
by no means am I saying yours will turn out like mine. If you follow along, you can create these recipes. I am looking for, sp <laughs> for sponsors right now. Please contact me at my email below. Oh my God, bestie, <laughs> baby girl. <laughs> Oh, God. Ugh. <laughs> Ooh, the, it would be it would be really nice if the bidet company reached out to her to spot to sponsor her video. I'm sure she could use a bidet. I'm sure she could after eating this. Juice right there that's and let all that juice right there that's that ju what she loves to use the word juice to describe water <laughs> zucchini water <laughs> juice mm -hmm. yep bubbling make sure all of that is dissolved into this not the bean juice enjoyer following my twitch channel right after i got done talking about zucchini juice Oh, oh no. No. What what in particular is this part? What is that's I guess the the crawfish. <laughs> Bean juice enjoyer wants to clarify that they are not a zucchini juice enjoyer. This is so tragic looking. Y'all, after all that juice is absorbed into all of this, um, put one teaspoon full of sugar and just sprinkle it all in here and mix it up real good. A teaspoon of sugar? I guess that might turn into juice. <laughs> I guess that might be some juice. Then turn the fire off. And get you four cheese, Mexican cheese. The now, see, you could have used this cheese for the enchiladas, but here we are putting it on this nightmare. A thick cut, or you can, you know, use whatever kind of cheese, but this kind of cheese tastes really good on it. All right, and then just spread. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Yucky. A, a great diet, Saudi. <laughs> Agreed that cheese around it's an eight ounce bag and then just spread that around and then you're going to put the lid back on uh -huh. it with the fire off yeah make sure you turn the fire off and then just let that melt down in there and then i'll show you the next step there's still another step <laughs> this is this is fucking hateful <laughs> this is hateful Right, look at all that cheesy goodness and the crawfish down in there. Yum. All right, now what just top it with a little bit of bacon bits. Oh. All right, y'all, look at that. I just topped it with some green love, onions. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Those poor suckinis never stood a chance. They sure didn't, Livia Sore. Thanks for the bets. This is a hate crime. <laughs> this is something. This is something. I also am so, so irritated with people that just put green onion on a dish just to add green onion for no reason, for absolutely no reason. And then get you some garlic cheese Ooh. bread. Okay. Look at this meal. Isn't that... Doesn't that look good? No. Yum. No, it doesn't. All right, you guys, love, just love, remember, love if you believe it, wheat, you wheat. can... That crawfish died thrice. It sure did. That crawfish has been through it. Make this. And until next time, and make sure you give me that thumbs up and uh, let me know that secret word. All right? I'm going to just go comment Until next her. time, be blessed and safe. Bye, y'all. <laughs> I'm just going to go comment... Um, I got it. Whisper. <laughs> I'm going to do exactly what she told me not to do. <laughs>
The way you incorporate different techniques and flavors really sets this recipe apart. You're a fucking liar. You've definitely elevated my cooking game. You're lying. I think the soft zucchini texture and savory cheese will go well together. Gross. And ain't nobody in here. These are all just like automated. Like you can tell that nobody's actually watching the, the video because who else is saying I got it in here? There's old Annie smoking pot again. <laughs> There's old Annie smoking pot again. Food looks amazing. Good. Thanks for sharing this. Who, who, oh, this is another one from Homemade Food 99. Just completely a AI generated. Your food has a certain enchantment to it. Um, although I admire your efforts, I was wondering if you could show KHAL viewers a video of you cooking. What is KHAL? Am I missing something? What did she say? My kitchen is being remodeled, so that's why I haven't in a while. If you see my earlier videos, I did. Yeah, let's get back to you being on camera. I'm still looking for somebody who said, I got it. Oh, here it is. I got it. I emailed you the secret word for contest. Okay, there's one person. There's two if you want to count me. <laughs> um, oh, here's... Well, that's Rat Bat from the chat. <laughs> Rat Bat from the chat. That, that person... Rat Bat commented two minutes ago. I got it. Oh, here's number three. Or is that the same user from up here? Oh, it is. That's just... Wait, no, it's a different one. It's a different one. It's a different one. The, the numbers are different. Oh, and then Mile High Guy Barbecue got it, too. So there you go. <laughs> there you go. The rest of those people I don't think are real. I don't think they're real because they didn't, they didn't pass the test. <laughs> they didn't pass the test. <laughs> um, so anyways, YouTube, what a fun day. I hope y'all enjoyed it today, even though... Even though I said I was going to try to end earlier, I still, I still went over. I still went over today. But, uh, YouTubies, I love you. You're amazing. Thanks for subscribing over here on the second, third, third channel. You're amazing. Um, and, uh, I'll see y'all on the next Twitch re-upload. Bye, YouTubies.